Wei forces are approaching Hanjiang. They say that Cao Cao is leading the troops himself. What? Cao Cao himself? This is nothing I did not anticipate. Hanjiang is a key territory for Shu. The men of Wei will be keen to do all they can to take it from us. Something about this doesn't seem right. Reports from our scouts suggest that after leading the defense of Perfei, Cao Cao had taken his troops to Ru Shu Ku. He used the momentum of his successful defense to turn the tide on his enemy, but then abandoned that and turned on us instead? Why would Cao Cao do something like that? You mean to say that Cao Cao is confident that Wu will not attack him? Surely you can't be suggesting that Wei and Wu have joined forces. If that's true, then Master Guan Yu will be in grave danger in Jing province. It is certainly possible. But I talked with Master Lu Su, and I felt that we both understood the mutual benefit our alliance would bring. Furthermore, the fundamental philosophy underpinning Wu's actions is Master Zhou Yu's design of dividing the land in two. Wei is positioned as Wu's major enemy in the quest for control of the land. And we have already returned two of the four southern counties of Jin province to Wu's control. Hmm, I see. You're right that there doesn't seem to be any benefit for Wu to side with Wei with regard to the situation in Jin province. But what if they aren't after land, but want Master Guan Yu's head? His formidable military prowess and unbending loyalty are certain to prove a major threat to both kingdoms. You are suggesting that two great kingdoms would set aside their differences and join hands all for the sake of removing one man? Does that not seem extreme? There is a certain logic to what Fa Zhang says. Master Guan Yu is one of the mightiest warriors in the land and fearlessly loyal. Any road to conquest must go through him. We must watch closely to see which Wu will select, Jin Province or Master Guan Yu. Cao Cao did not take kindly to losing Han Zhong. He is now leading a colossal force here in an attempt to reclaim it. But we will be the ones to have our revenge instead. We will repay him for all the injustices he has inflicted upon us in the past. We will be encamped among the mountains in this battle. The roles are reversed from last time. In other words, we must pay due caution to any enemy raids. The other key to any mountain battle is the maintenance of supply lines. We must keep our bases well protected and ensure that our supply lines remain secure. This is our first battle to protect the land my brother has built. We cannot lose. I expect everyone to be prepared to fight to the death. I appreciate the sentiment, Zhang Fei, but you mustn't die here. We are still walking the path to our grand dream. I want you all to bear witness to the land that we build. None of you are to die today, you understand? The onslaught of the Wei forces is ferocious. If they keep this up much longer, we'll have to surrender Hang Zheng. Our main force at Mount Dingjun is under pressure. This could be dangerous. We need to go to their aid at once.
sorry, but can you provide help on a different front? We need your aid. Lord Ma Chao has been injured, and the enemy is closing in on Wan Yi. We can't let them find Lord Ma Chao. Please go to Wang Yi and aid him. This line. We shall not concede a single step. I don't think I've ever seen anybody like you. Skilled warrior indeed. Charge attacks are my specialty. Allow me to show you. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. This area is merely a pawn in my larger overall strategy. is merely a pawn in my larger overall strategy. Machao. If you stand in my way, I will have no choice but to kill you. Whoa. Just as scary as I remembered. But hopefully I can buy us some time. Aha! Machao! I have found you at last. You will not leave here alive. Your eyes... You look at me the same way I look at Cao Cao. It seems your hatred and rage has overwhelmed me in the end. 